Hey guys, uh, in this tutorial I am going to show you how I created uh, the solid software effect of this video. Uh, I am going to show you how I created these cracks and uh, football, uh, but I have lost the uh, raw footage of this uh, video, so I am going to show you in another video. I am going to create this. I will show you how I created these cracks and the football and I tracked uh, how I cracked it uh, to the video and I will also do 3D match moving so let's get started uh, I am going to use the stock uh, uh, 3D, cam uh, 3D motion tracking uh, plugin that comes with After Effects so first I will drag the sequence to After Effects and create a new composition. I'll just drag it to the timeline and I will select the layer and go to animation and select track camera. It will analyze the all the frames and uh, crack the features and uh, give give us the uh, 3D camera solve. So I will pause the video as it will crack and be back. Uh, so it has uh, already tracked it uh, and uh, uh, now I will create the camera I'll just uh, click on the button create camera so it will create the, ca create the camera and I'm going to create some null points uh, to represent the plane so I will create a null here I will right click on the point and click on create null and over here create null I will name it as 1 and 2 and now I will export it uh, so I will go to file export and cinema code explorer and I will save it as c 4 d Ok so we have exported it, now I will open the exported file, it will look like this and I will import the sequence in cinema 4D also, so I will create, create a new material and on the color channel I will click on the 3 dots and browse the file and click on the texture and go to animation tab and click on calculate so it will uh, make it a movie uh, it will grab all the frames and make it a movie and now I will create a background object and drag these uh, this material uh, this material on it so the track looks good uh, but uh, we have to uh, adjust the ground plane so I just click on the global null and rotate it according to the grid yeah, yeah, yeah now it looks good uh, but because uh, we have some serious uh, scale issue so I will scale scale down the uh, global null object and make a cube and I will align it on the null of here uh, to make an origin and then I will select the null of here and then I will select the null of here and now I will select the global null and I have to make uh, I have to align the global null as this this null object will contact this cube so I will select the scene scene to null and drag it so that null will contact this cube and 
now it is contacting the cube and now it will perfectly match the ground So it is now looking good. And now I will create a ground plane to match the background building. So I will create a plane. First I will hide this plane. Create a plane. Send it back in the Z space. Uh, I will copy the position of this null, second null, which is this, and the Z position of this null, and paste it uh, on the cube. So it is 2 to 5. It is 2 to 5. Now the ground, the plane will also align with the building. I will send it a uh, little bit more back. So I will just change it. So I have the same setup now, but I have to make some little bit more adjustment. You can make uh, some more adjustment to properly align all the things. Uh, you can also make a ground plane to match the uh, below ground. Uh, I'll just hide it for now. But I will. I also uh, already have a scene setup, so I will just open that one.